Welcome to Pesach Preview 2012, Part 4. On the Seder night in the Haggadah, we tell a story of five rabbis who gathered in the city of Bnei Brak and were telling the story of the exodus of Egypt the entire night until their disciples came and told them, Rabbis, the time to read the Shema of the morning has arrived. Kriya Shema Shol Shacharis. Firstly, we need to understand the significance of these five rabbis. If you analyze who they were, you will see that they were either Kohanim or Levim. In other words, they came from the tribe of Levi. And then there was Rabbi Akiva, whose father was a convert. Now, the tribe of Levi did not suffer physical slavery. They were not aff afflicted with slavery in the land of Egypt. We are told that they were there, but they weren't actually slaves. They were the only tribe. And of course, the convert, his ancestors, did not suffer slavery in Egypt either. And yet it was specifically these five rabbis who gathered to tell the story, emphasizing the idea that on Pesach we are not commemorating liberation from physical slavery. We are commemorating, commemorating the spiritual freedom from spiritual bondage. The tribe of Levi were physically not slaves, but they were spiritually enslaved. The soul of the convert was also spiritually enslaved, and therefore it applies to the convert, it applies to the tribe of Levi, Everyone needs to celebrate and commemorate the exodus from Egypt. But the end of the story is somewhat interesting. The disciples of the rabbis come and tell them, it's enough, it's been all night, and the time to read Shema has arrived. It's somewhat of an obscure expression. Wouldn't it be normal just for them to say, rabbis, it's morning, the sun has risen? But the commentaries explain that the disciples were comment commenting on the power of the Seder, especially the one conducted by these five rabbis. They told them, Rabbis, your Seder was so intense, your Seder was so powerful, that the time of Shema of the morning has arrived. You have illuminated our Shema. Shema is a symbol of faith. You have ignited our Emunah. You have ignited our faith in God to such an extent that it is fully blown, fully ignited, and the effect of the Seder has been fully implemented. Just a Pesach reminder, on Pesach night, it is a mitzvah to eat matzah. Every person needs to eat a certain portion of matzah. The entire Pesach, one is not obligated to eat matzah, one is only prohibited from eating chametz. But on the first night, and in the, in the diaspora, the second night, we are obligated to eat matzah. But that matzah that we eat the first two nights needs to be shmura matzah, matzah that was specially watched from the time that it was harvested and baked especially for the mitzvah. So make sure that when you're buying matzah for Pesach, especially for the first two nights, you purchase and order in time your shmura matzah. Have a wonderful day.